Hey guys, you're Marta Geek. In this video, I'm going to share some tips on how to master the second screen of the LG V10. I keep getting a lot of questions regarding the second screen, so in this video, I hope I answer most of them. First of all, this second screen is separate from the main screen. The main screen is 5.7. This right here is 2.1, and it has nothing to do with the main screen so it's two separate screens um, it has two functions when you have it on it functions in one way when you have it off it functions differently as well um, here you have the options to see your name or you can change it to your um, weather uh, to your date and, and time um, you swipe like that you have the option here to list to turn off the audio by putting it in vibrate mode or you could turn off and on the Wi-Fi you have the flashlight here you have the camera toggle right there as well and no you cannot change you cannot change these toggles here whatsoever these toggles here you cannot change it at all so that's the way it stays there and that's it um, if you want to change this to the date it's very easy or you got to unlock the phone go to settings go to display go to second screen right here and right here you have the option to show it says show when main screen is off click on it and now you have the option here to choose date and time instead of signature you choose date and time you go back again again and you lock your phone and now you have your date and time which is way better then seeing your name there because it doesn't become useful at all. Uh, one thing that I have been getting questions if that if you're listening to music and your phone is on standby, can you see your controls there? Uh, yes, you can. For example, if I'm listening to a podcast here, I'm listening to a podcast there. This is podcaster, and I turn off the screen. Right, the screen is off. I can swipe this way and look at that. I have the option to control the um, any any media it could be the google play music it could be spotify it could be podcaster it could be anything any mu media you can have access right there by swiping to the left or, or right and basically that's it that's all the things you could do there now let's unlock the phone when you unlock the phone here you have a couple options here like having your signature there which looks very cool i put mark the geek uh, but you could put absolutely anything you want if you want to um, edit this you go tap and hold here it takes you to this um, screen right here which from here you're going to be able to adjust anything that you want here you could go ahead and press here and said put instead of mark the geek put mark uh, i'll put mark youtuber whatever <laughs> like that uh, you can also here put um, change the font you could go handwrite uh, Roboto travel Fox train coffee looks coffee looks very cool um, pure white and serif look at that I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in coffee that looks very cool so you could do that click save click save yes and now you have that option right there you, but you can write absolutely anything you want there uh, slide to the right and right here you have shortcuts uh, these shortcuts are always going to be there uh, unless you change them yourself uh, there's a couple ways you can change them very very easily um, if you want to take this one out you could just drag it over here to the home screen and let's say i want to put like flipboard there i could go ahead and drag it over there and look at that now I can have flipboard right there and launch I'll have it available whenever I want just like everything else like you see there everything else here is accessible with these shortcuts and that's very cool that you can actually uh, drag them however you want and uh, you can also organize the position of them as well you could put um, tap and hold move them over here and that's it look at that um, if you go this way you have access to the media player um, here is the this is the LG music player you have access to that or of course if you're playing like a podcast here if I'm listening to a audio podcast click right there I can have access to the audio podcast there as well and I could pause it I can skip forward if I want. If I pause it, you can see the title of the podcast, which looks very awesome as well. And it keeps uh, cycling around too. Um, here you have the option to add shortcuts for phone calls or your favorite contacts, whatever you want. Um, here you can tap 
on one of them this is a example GameStop you could tap here and it'll take you to the default messaging app or if you tap here and touch on on the phone it'll take you to the dialer and it'll stop start dialing the phone number uh, if you want to change any of these it's very easy to change as well you tap and hold and it takes you right here where from here you could go ahead and change anything here just tap right there and you could switch to any phone number that you want from your contacts and that's it that's how you do it you could also change the 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 position of your contacts as well and you click save once you click save it's just gonna save it right there as well when you go like that you can see the calendar uh upcoming events and all that so if you have like a birthday coming up if you have like a payday coming up and you have it in your calendar of your, if there's a holiday coming up it's gonna see it right there and if when you tap right there it takes you to the calendar uh, which is very cool. The only negative thing I would have to say about this uh, event section is that uh, there's no option to put like a, a like a third party calendar if you want to use like another calendar. I haven't been able to do that. Maybe there is a way, but right now I can't find a way to do that. Um, when you swipe again, here you're gonna have the recent apps. These are the recent apps that you've been opening. So like you see here, we've been opening all these already. So that's that's what it is. It's just showing you a history. Of the apps that you've been opening and that is it if you want to access the settings go to settings go to second screen and right here it says show when main screen is on click right there and from right here you can also do all the things that I did but right here in one simple page uh, you can change for example the signature if you don't want the signature to be there click it right there and now it's gonna be in a different position tap it here in the front is going to be in the front um, if you don't want to see it tap on it and you will uh, the signature will disappear you're not going to see it any no more again tap it here the check mark and now you're going to see it uh, if you want to uh, customize it again you can go ahead here again and change change it oops, 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 oops. what the hell am i doing you can change it again and of course you can change the font as well let's go ahead and choose uh serif boom boom and that's it now that's how the con that's how the signature is gonna look um same thing here with the shortcuts here you could change the shortcuts just like i showed you before you, you could drag the shortcuts to the home screen but here if you want to uh just tap on one of them here right and want to choose like something else Besides that, you could do that as well. Like if I want to put um, screen capture plus, I could do that. Click plus there. And now it's going to be right there. You tap there. Now you're going to have the option to screen capture and all that. That's cool. Uh, music player, same thing here. You, if you don't want the music player, you just uncheck it. If you click it here, you will see it. And of course, you could change it um, from positioning as well. A uh, quick contact, same thing. If you want to change it from here, you could do that. If you don't want to see that, you just uncheck it and you're not going to see it anymore. If you click that again, then you're going to see it again. Over here, upcoming events. Like you see, the only thing that you could do here is uncheck it. If you uncheck it, it disappears from here there. If you check it it will appear but there's no option like you see there's no option to choose like another calendar if i wanted i hope lg actually updates that and lets us choose any third party calendar that would be good and of course here recent apps this is the recent apps that i've been using uh if i'm actually gonna disable it because i don't need it uh because if i want to see my recent apps i just tap right here right i just tap we just tap right here and we can see all the recent apps so we don't really need that there and it also sometimes it confuses me from my main um toggles or my main shortcuts that i want to actually have access to i really don't care about the recent apps so you could do that as well like i'm gonna be doing as well and when you're done you're done that's it that's all you can do there in the second screen uh some people ask me if you can disable uh, the second screen yes you can you, you could just turn it off here you could turn it off here and now when you click here boom it's just gonna be totally blank and when you turn it off it's gonna be totally blank as well but the thing is a lot of people keep asking me if this has a physical led 
um, an LED light that it'll, for notifications? No, it does not have an LED light. Uh, that's the main purpose of the second screen is to show you notifications and all that as well. So that's the reason most likely, that's the reason most likely it does not have a physical LED light for notifications. Um, other than that, that's all you can actually do there. Um, maybe later on in the future, um, LG will add more features to the second screen, but um, I like it. I like it very much and it's very useful. I use it all the time. So every time I wanna access these apps or whatever app I put here, for me, it's way easier to just tap on it and that's it. Another question I keep getting is that if you get a notification here, does it appear here in your notifications? And yes, it does. Cause when the notification appears here, it just popping up. That's it. That's all it's doing. It's popping up and it's just letting you know that you got a notification. That's it. But it will disappear like a couple seconds. You give it like one or two seconds and it disappears from this second screen. So you're not going to have access to the notification from here. And when you go here to notification screen, that's where all the notifications are going to be your email, your messaging, any notification is going to be still here in your notification panel. So guys, that's it. I hope these um, tips that I gave you guys actually answer some of the questions I've been getting. But if you have more questions that you need to know that I haven't covered here in this video, go ahead and leave it in the comments and I will gladly answer them or somebody else in the comments will answer them as well. Thanks for watching the video, guys. This was a look at the LG V10 second screen. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.